this past Thursday, or Tuesday, Tuesday, I was having coffee with one of our elders at Starbucks. And so he went to the restroom, and this very nice lady walked up to me. And she said, hey, are you a pastor? And, and normally I lie. <laughs> but this day I told the truth. I was having a good day, right? Holy Spirit, right on me, right? I told the truth. Yeah, I said, I'm a pastor. Yeah, I am. She said, hey, I was at your church this past Sunday. I was like, oh, really? And she goes, yeah. And she told me, she said, I normally go to a church where they teach verse by verse by verse through the Bible every single week. And i got to be honest with you. When you started playing that stick song, I was like weirded out. I was like, what kind of place is this and, and all that. And, of course, I'm just smiling at that too. She said, but, but then you started to talk about it. And then by the end, she said, I loved it. My whole family loved it. And then she said this thing to me that I will never forget. She said, she kind of pointed at me. And she said, you know the same Jesus that I know. And I got this smile on my face. I said, yes, I do. And I want to help everyone that I can ex experience and know him too. And she says, yeah, you know, most pastors, they put this wall up between them and us. And you just didn't, you just didn't do that. And she said, we'll be back. And I hope you are back. If you're here, hey, thanks for coming back. But, but here's the thing. Here's, here's what we're going to This is who we are. This is what we breathe in this place. This is what we're all about. Not filling your head with knowledge. We exist to help people discover their stories to walk into this junk, experience all that Jesus came to do for them, and live on mission and live totally and completely free. Not just forgiven, but free. See, there's no way that any of us are ever going to find this life to the fullest thing. We'll find forgiveness. We'll never find this life to the fullest thing that Jesus came to bring us unless we're willing to take this journey back into our stories so that we can discover where Jesus wants to and needs to heal us. And as we take this journey, here's the thing you got to realize, and I see this all the time. Awareness is not healing. I see people all the time, they start to take this journey, and they're like, wow, that was significant, and that was significant, and that was. And, that, and they come up with these six major points of pain in their life, and they're like, ooh, man, that was life-changing, so significant, so painful. And they're just like, they think that being aware of it fixes it. No, it doesn't. You need healing, and healing takes time, lots and lots of time. The longer you've carried this wound, and the deeper it is, the longer it will take for you to be healed. You can't miss that. It's a journey with Jesus. Every single day in this healing journey that I'm on, and I'm still on it, I love, when I look at where I've been and where I am, I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus, for the healing. But every single day, he points to something. He says, there's a crack. There's a crevice. There's some more brokenness that I need to address in your life, Greg. 